Now let's look at some more tools which should form part of every network administrator's collection. Whenever there is a communication problem across a network, the users blame the network. The problem may be caused by a slow application or an overloaded server, but the network is still to blame. Of course, with in-depth knowledge, specialist tools and plenty of time, you can prove the real cause of the problem. But these are luxuries when you are under pressure to remedy the situation. The device availability tool provides you with real-time meaningful statistics about the performance of the network. These include packet errors, lost data, and response times across the network. It's not a mountain of information but it's enough to give you a feeling of whether the problem is network related. In the heat of the moment, this is just the information you need to help you focus on the real cause of the problem. Reporting is another of the less glamorous but essential tasks of network management. Keeping good records is a part of a network administrator's responsibility. Long-term knowledge of your network performance will help you to spot trends and anomalies. Industrial High Vision allows any visible parameter to be added to a report, including any parameters you've defined yourself. This gives you complete flexibility in terms of the information you collect. There are many options for the scheduling of report generation from fixed period to sequential. A built-in PDF generator can create basic visual reports and by exporting the data in a standard format, you can use applications such as Excel to create professional quality reports. From a technical perspective, network baselining is a subset of reporting, but it represents one of the most important tasks that a network administrator must conduct to ensure the health of the network. In this case, network baselining means monitoring the minimum, average and maximum device response times across a network. Fluctuations in these values could indicate changes in network utilization or changes in the end devices. In other words, things that you need to know about. Your devices do not need to offer this information. Industrial High Vision will calculate it for you. Just select the devices you want to baseline and you will be well on your way to having a deep understanding of your network's long-term performance. Industrial High Vision includes some great tools to warn you when the configuration of a network device has changed, but that still leaves you with the challenge of working out exactly what has changed. Of course, you could spend hours comparing the previous and current configuration files manually, or you could use the configuration file compare tool. This gives you a side-by-side -side comparison of a device's previous configuration and its current configuration. Changes are color-coded, making them simple to detect. Use this tool to save time and frustration when dealing with unauthorized changes to device configurations. There's a well-known saying that no two networks are the same, but like many things with OT networks, sometimes reality is far removed from general understanding. As an example, let's consider a network on a train. Typically, each carriage will contain identical hardware, for example, cameras, passenger information displays, seat reservation displays, passenger counters, and emergency phones. All these components are networked, so each carriage needs an identical network, but 
using different IP addresses. The duplicate network function can create these networks, including devices, IP addresses, passwords, alarms, and event forwarding. Of course, this is a niche function for certain OT networks, but what is niche today may be mainstream OT tomorrow. Industrial High Vision includes the option to start other device-related interfaces directly from within the graphical user interface. For example, right-clicking a switch's icon will allow you to open the device's web interface or a command line like Telnet or SSH. But is it possible to run other applications, especially for third-party devices? Actually, yes. You can design your own device menus and then run any applications you would like. Wildcards are available for parameters such as IP addresses. It's even possible to include passwords in the command line. For example, if you use VNC for remote access to PCs, create a VNC menu and associate it with PC devices. Enjoy the convenience of customized device access directly from inside Industrial High Vision.